Hi, Pam. Hey, Lorraine. How are you? I'm doing really well. I know she's right here. I got to figure out how to hold my phone, though. Ooh. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. We're my hand? That's your hand. Oh, that's my hand. Hi, friends. How are you? Okay, I got to hold this steady somehow. All right. So, uh, I know, don't know if you got my email yesterday, but we are in Austin, Texas, which is where our Furls Warehouse is located. So, we've been spending time with our team. We've been um, getting our hands a little dirty. Uh, a lot of brainstorming on all of the amazing things that we're going to bring mm -hmm. to you guys this year. So, so excited we're so excited we've been doing some sightseeing while we're here too mm -hmm. um austin is a beautiful city uh the weather is gorgeous um and i'm very i'm apparently not really good at holding a phone while going live i think my hands about to go numb it's fine it's fine so we, <laughs> so we do have some people joining us hello to everybody stephanie is in Austin. Yes. She's been commenting on a lot of our posts, telling, giving us some uh, hints as to what we could do while we're here. So it's really nice to see her watching us live today. Uh, yes, Austin, Texas. So yes. um, this is my first time here. This is your third. third. Is that correct? Yep. It's our first time actually meeting in person, which is it's amazing. It's the best. We've been having a really great time. Um, and then today, we're actually sitting right now on Harrison's couch. In his office. In his office. I don't know if you just heard him giggle from we're, the room. We're looking at his, at his wonderful artwork. We are, this is great to see a little behind it. Cause usually that's the computer that he usually does our video meetings from. It is. And so we get usually the view of his closet doors and his vent. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're actually getting to see some of the uh, genius. The inner workings. The inner workings that is Harrison Richards. So, uh, oh. Know. No, I'm just um, um, Ola Joe. Hi, everybody. We know how much <laughs> you guys love it when we have um, our son on. So we we have convinced him to do a little cameo. So in a little while, he'll, he'll pop in to say hi. You're going to pop right in now? to say hi? He's coming right now. Okay. All right. Can you sit right in the middle, sir? Here we go. What's going on, everyone? Trying to go. How are we? Happy Sunday afternoon now. Ola Joe, the crocheting sailor. Awesome. Hi, Andrea. Got Shelly, Crystal, Crystal Victoria. So how many of you guys are in Austin? And when we know Samantha. There's a few. There's Stephanie. There is, yeah. Stephanie What's up, with you guys? Us. <laughs> love to see the chat popping off right now. Mm -hmm. um, I did bring, okay, first of all, love the comments on my office. It's so weird that these two have finally met in person for the first time they've worked together for years two, years two three years now and the energy the in-person energy off the charts these two are uh best friends for sure maybe love of each other's life <laughs> okay i i have some random goodies i just i figured i'd pick something off my desk and kind of give you guys a little behind the scenes of what actually goes in on the office work, the mm -hmm. kind of... Um, you need to hold it now. My hand's definitely shaking. It's numb. The uh, <laughs> professional behind-the-scenes stuff. So we're working very, very hard to make every single book that we have better, more beautiful, more functional for you guys. We're constantly in R&D. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to show you guys some samples of some odyssey hook tips that we have so this is 3d printed which is crazy it's 2022 this is the kind of uh, prototyping let's see if i can pull this up to the camera prototyping sophistication that we have right now um so this is a i think this is a four millimeter that i've got in front of me beautiful thing this is 3d printed can you believe that the way this gets made the wax is 3d printed or it's this model is 3d printed in wax that wax is then cast in sand into a base metal um in this model i believe it's brass and then that brass is tumbled polished and plated with i think this is 14 karat gold so we've wow. discontinued odyssey gold but for prototyping 
this is one of the um, smoothest and best metals you can use. You can see the surface finish on that. I don't know if you can see the reflection in there. It's pretty crystal clear, super beautiful. You can see, I don't know if you, how many Odyssey users we have on the chat right now, but this tip, the um, working shaft is a little bit straighter and longer, and um, the tip is a little bit, the camera on this thing. Uh, the tip is a little bit pointier for you, and the uh, it's hard to figure out the reverse, <laughs> and the throat's a little bit shallower. Okay, so that's the four millimeter. I'm gonna show you guys. Let me have a look at that. Pam, this is also the first time that Pamela Ring was seeing these. Seeing these, yeah, person, yeah, wow. Um, this, we'll be touching them. <laughs> this is the uh, Eight? yes, the ten millimeter, big boy. That's wild. Yeah. So that, and the cool thing about this, the Odyssey shapes of the heads at the moment are all a little varied. The lengths are all a little different. That's because the masters for those tips were all handmade. By you. By me. And then Chris made some of them as well. Okay. So um, we've got some variation on the tips. These were finally investing in um, 3D printed based on CAD models. So all the lengths will be the same. All the shafts will have the same working length and diameter, and then the same tip shape. So lots of improvements coming on the Odyssey. It's heavy, but we are very, good. very, very excited. Super excited. We heard, we've been listening. To, we listen. Yeah, we listen to all of the um, improvements that you thought we can make on it, and it, they take a long time to get there. But we are. We want to show you guys that we are working on making these exactly what you want them to be We're so excited. mandy m on youtube says been using streamlines for a while just got my first odyssey ones about a month ago and love them mandy what do you love about the odysseys versus the streamlines just a quick little comment i'll look out for it what's the difference in your mind what do you like between the two of them also mandy while you're writing out that response i want to show you guys real quick okay so this is what the we get back from the 3d printer this is the model we take that and then we cast it into, um, or we build a mold off of that, and then we cast it into these unplated base metal models. That's what it looks like right out the um, mold before polishing. This is the plated copy. I don't know if you can see the luster on that, but that's a lot of what makes the Odyssey as lighty smooth as it is glidy that's the technical <laughs> term um is the plating on it it's chrome like the plating is nickel but super smooth it's not butter it's plated in <laughs> butter it feels like it maribel says the mint hook is beautiful that's our latest odyssey color we love it i agree that is a beautiful hook we have got some amazing colors of odyssey coming one two i mean one you're not gonna have to wait Two, 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 someone, was, someone was saying that um, I haven't been giving any secrets all right. I mean, we've been only live for a few minutes. So. And we've given out a lot of secrets already. Um, and um, somebody might be here watching us. We would say that we can't give things away. So we can't give things away. I might get that. <laughs> <That's a joke. laughs> yes, we, um, we have lots of amazing things that we are working on right now and we're very excited to share with you guys. So make sure you follow are following us on our social media and are subscribed to our newsletter because that is where we are telling everybody everything. Um, we plan on coming out to Austin at least once a year and doing this and taking you guys with us every time. And at we, least, at once, least a year. once a year. I live here. I'm right by the warehouse. Lorena Pema remote. You guys gotta come one more than once a year. If everyone okay. in the chat can say that they <laughs> sure. need Pam and Lorene to come more than once a year, that would be great for me. <laughs> yes. Mandy's commenting back, yes, the balance is amazing. Mm -hmm. I, that's super interesting because the Odysseys right now have... Oh, hold it. Um, the Odysseys kind of have that forward... Oh, that's great. Um, the Odysseys have that forward uh, pull on the way. Streamlines have that... Um, uh, even weight. Even weight through the body, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I saw a comment. I didn't. I don't. I couldn't grab the name. Someone said, "I hope the weight won't change, or the balance won't change on the Odysseys. It won't with the new tips that we're making right now. We're just making the, uh, the weight and balance will stay the same. We're just making the tips a little bit better." 
yeah, we are very cognizant of um, beauty, but the function is the, the most important thing. We want to make sure that it's comfortable in your hands and that it works really well for you guys. So any improvement we had made, we have done the R&D of, and we tested it, and we are, you know, Pam and I are first and foremost, first, first and foremost. So we are definitely making sure that they are completely, not just functional, but amazing for you guys to use. For sure. Also, love the uh, previous comment from Victoria. Her older son is called Harrison. Great name. All Harrisons that I know are handsome and charming. So excellent choice on your uh, son there. Facebook user, no name, Harrison. How did you get into developing crochet hooks? You guys mind if I go on no, we, a little rabbit hole here? Yeah, right. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, I was in college when I was 18 and I was very, very bored. And I had dated a crocheter in high school. I knew I wanted to start a company. I knew I wanted to drop out. And I thought, what is, why is that funny? <laughs> no, I, knew I, knew I just knew it. Yeah. I just knew it. Um, I thought, what is an industry that is stable, has a big worldwide population, but doesn't have any innovation in it? What can I come into and be like, at the time I thought, the Steve Jobs of that industry? And I remembered my high school sweetheart. I thought, okay, like maybe I'll revisit that industry. I was a wood turner at the time. Maybe on my lathe, I can make some handmade, one of a kind crochet hooks. And that honestly is the genesis of everything. So I dropped out after my first year of school and in my parents' garage started wood turning one by one on a small Etsy shop called Furls. Um, and sold one by one started to get customers got all this great feedback on and we actually so pam and lorene were in the warehouse on friday mm -hmm. and uh anna 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 anna, anna. anna um who's one of our first customers ever came out and she brought with her two crochet hooks that i made in 2012 10 years ago a double-ended olive wood hook and a beautiful blackwood hook. What's crazy is they looked pretty much as good as the day that I made them. They look great, no? They're, they're amazing. They're Not great. to brag on myself, I think but they look great. Some <laughs> double-ended alphas, to be honest with you. Yeah, for sure. It was great because it was a different size on each side. So it was mm, her two yeah. her two most used sizes. It was like an H and a J mm -hmm. or H and a... Well, it's you know, an H, I think. She's when you're oh, edging really? something, you need to sometimes a slightly smaller hook to do edging sure. or finishing. Sure. So it was perfect. Sure. So um, and from there, I got all this one-by-one -one feedback from crocheters. Don't like the width here. It's too long here. Um, want you to change the beads right here. And over the course of hand making 1000 crochet hooks, I kind of honed in on, or not kind of, I really honed in on the shape that fits the human hand the best. I won't go into all of that. There's a lot of stuff on our site about the metacarpal phalangeal joint and all that. Um, but that was the genesis of furls. That kind of, I want to go to college. I want to start a business. Let's get into crochet and then slowly hand making one by one. And look at where it is now. And look at where we are now. How about that? 8,000 square foot warehouse in Austin, Texas. Lot. How many crochet hooks are in there? Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah. ooh, okay. Um, let's see. It's. I mean, you put the POs in. It's yeah, thousands. it's hundreds, <laughs> hundreds of thousands. thousands of crochet hooks. Um, we have Pam, once she realized how enormous the, the site was, but two just so truly beautiful so yeah to, to build on that um being where i am located um north, Canada. north of the border um you know i get my hooks in the mail and you know take the photos and i use them and um i only get to use maybe two or three of each variant of hook when i got to the warehouse and saw the bins and saw just how Hundreds beautiful per, and right. unique and gorgeous and some may have ended up in my pockets i'll, <laughs> I'll admit to that we got to do an inventory <laughs> we have to do an inventory here. take again um but actually if you go to our website right now furlscrochet.com and you look at the banner um on our homepage, the first image you see you'll see some of the hooks 
um, some of our ebony is rare. Or there's all ebony, the ones, ebony right? antique in, in that photo. Mm -hmm. Just some of the beautiful variations. And I thought most ebonies would come in a solid black wood because that's what I have at home. And that is not that is not the case there's at all. Such variation. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm turning the camera. So no, like my uh, right arm is slowly dying. Yeah, yeah. We, we got to trade this off. Yeah. Okay, my turn. Yeah, thank you. I did see it. Bring tripod. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It, actually, I have one. I can set that up. I just want to answer one question first. I saw, I can't remember who asked it. A great question. What's my favorite part? And I think we can all speak to this mm -hmm. about the creating process. Because we all spend a lot of time in ideation, product creation, product development. And sometimes we are thinking about a product years before it comes out. Yeah. And Pam, Lorena, I actually have very similar personalities when it comes to product and strategy, um, which is why they're, we're all sitting here together right now. <laughs> um, and that first moment of the kind of aha epiphany um, of, I don't think anyone's ever thought about this the way that I'm thinking about it right now or the way that we're thinking about it right now. That's probably my favorite part always the thing the innovation the innovation yeah the thing that's going to be really meaningful to you guys and also we were talking about this earlier really beautiful yeah. i think furls has always been about um building a beautiful thing beauty is not a um superficial concept at least i believe that at be we live to use beautiful things we're all makers here we make to make meaningful beautiful things and Life's too short for ugly tools. Life's too short for ugly tools. Who wrote that? Who wrote that? Um, I, I think that's my favorite part is that first initial moment of that aha. This is this is going to be great for you guys. We're going to be able to build something really beautiful. Um, it's kind of like a, uh, a high high moment, yeah. of eufor euphoric moment. Yeah, it's very euphoric. It's very. Um, I'm gonna let you guys speak while I grab the tripod. Yeah, okay. it's um, <laughs> my hands are shaking really badly. <laughs> it's very. Um, might have been the mimosa. Might have been. <laughs> we went to brunch. We just had brunch, so um, uh, it's very fulfilling uh, to know that not only is this something that we're making something new and exciting and beautiful, but it's truly going to help your craft. So Pam, like I said, first, first and foremost, Pam and I are makers and crochet designers and customers and customers. We are Furls's target market. And <laughs> we were both customers of Furls before we ever worked for Furls. Um, and I truly, I, we had our own businesses. Yeah. We would not have worked for a company if we didn't stand behind it and believe in it 100 percent we weren't going to leave our own where we were the bosses total control total control right to um be this involved in another business if we didn't truly 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 believe in it Peter, number one fan hi to Peter. um yeah like i couldn't i could not crochet without these hooks that's how i, I started tried. uh so i was fine mm. i thought i was fine i thought it was fine with the hooks I used to use, um, Lorene, this, this was before we were even friends. We had just, as a designer, you reached out to me and said, hey, would you have these hooks? Yeah. You, might, you might like them. Do you want I to try was, them? It was when I was the creative director or and, affiliate. I was when I was the affiliate. Yeah. And so I tried them and fell in love. Sorry, obviously. guys. We're, um, <laughs> we'll get there in a second. At least the, the, they, they love the behind the scenes. Yeah. Um, Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I'm sure it's in enough. Yeah, we're good. And, um, what was I going to say? Oh, so then I remember there was a size I didn't have yet at oh, the time. Nice. Went back to my old hooks. Get it. it felt, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, hi, friends. Got to hide the current comment. There we go. So Crystal's wondering, where do you see pearls over the next five years? That's a big question. We have been talking about that a lot. <laughs> yeah. You guys are asking, um, you guys are doing my job for me right now, asking uh, Pam and Lorene, these lofty <laughs> questions. Well, we um, have, I don't know if we've made the formal. This might be a good time to make the formal announcement. Would you like to? You do it. It's your announcement. It's your right? announcement. It is my announcement. I am. You're hearing it first here. I'm very happy to announce that I am promoting Lorene from COO to CEO of Furls. Round of 
applause for that. I mm, not met, but I was introduced to Lorene by you. You emailed me. I emailed you. Seven years ago. 2015? 2016? 2016. No. August 2016. 2015. No, it was definitely 2016. So it was 2015, 2016. 2015. It was one of those years. Six to seven years ago. Um, and, I, okay, I'll say this. All of, or not all of, but a lot of my um, favorites at Furls, rather than me giving offering them a job, have emailed me saying, I need to work for you. And Lorene's got that gumption. Lorene's got that spirit. Lorene got her first job at Furls by saying, hey, you need help, and I'm the person to come help you. Lorene started doing content, and over the past six or seven years has really proved herself as a leader, a visionary, um, and someone who really cares about this company. So I'm happy to announce Lorene is um, effective 10 days ago on April 1st, <laughs> um, CEO for us. What does that make me? What does that make me? I am the, um, I'm take, I'm stepping back. I'm the chairman of Furls now. So I am going to take a more um, relaxed approach to the future of Furls. I'm really trusting that um, Lorene and the current team that we have to lead the way. Um, Devita says, so darn exciting. Shirley says, congratulations, Lorene. Much deserved. Um, I also want to say at the same time that Pam has moved from director of marketing to chief marketing officer. Um, so I, these two ladies right here, I trust the bleep out of them. I can probably swear on here because it's my company, but um, I won't right now for the audiences at home. Uh, but I'm very excited to see what happens over the next couple of years. Um, Again, Lorene CEO, Pam CMO. I will still be involved. I'll still be working here. You'll see me for sure. Um, and definitely product and growth, which is something that I love. But again, I am, I've been building this company for 10 years. So it's time for me to take a little bit of a step back and um, explore some other projects and uh, let two ladies that I think are more talented than me uh, run the ship. Differently talented people than you. And I think that's Definitely what talented. has made us a great team because we are, sure. uh, while we are very similar, we all have different strengths and sure. um, complementary thoughts and process ideas and processes. But And I think this is an uh, interesting thing in the life cycle of companies to talk to my fellow entrepreneurs and business people out there on the live right now that, um, you know, companies go through different life cycles and I love that beginning, starting, everything's really hard, everything is against you, life cycle. And you have to invent something out of scratch. And Furls, thankfully, and I'm really grateful for this, has proved that already. We, we have you guys and we make something for you guys and that's our promises and that we've continued to deliver on. But um, that exists now. And I am, you are more operationally skilled than I am. I've learned a lot operationally from you, Lorraine, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. Well, we say that, like, we have learned a lot. You and I have learned a lot from each other. Pam and I have learned a lot from each other, and it makes us stronger mm -hmm. as individuals and stronger as a company. And uh, it, the sky's the limit, really, for, for what for us is going to become. It's really, oh, yeah, it's a long comment. Hold up. I got to scroll up to Carly Ross Zingale's comment. So important to play to people's strengths mm -hmm. instead of focusing on their weaknesses. This, okay. Truly, truly, truly. So hard to do that, though. Um, because... Oh, but you're good at it. It might be hard, but you have always been good at it. Me? Yeah. You mm -hmm. think so? Yeah. yeah. I, only by letting go. Because I think there's so much of the narrative around building companies that you got to do it yourself, right? You look at it, uh, someone like Mark Zuckerberg or Elon Musk, they continue it through every single stage. It took me a minute to fully admit, I don't... I, I have to pass that on to people who are my excuse me, more talented than I am. Differently talented than you are. Not. 
sure, sure, sure. Yeah. In, in, yeah, in, in another, another area. Right. And that's uh, to Carly's comment about strengths versus weaknesses. Um, and that's the great thing about teams is that mm -hmm. we get to work together. You get to borrow from each other. Yeah, right? for sure. Yeah. For sure. I like Estelle's comment as well. I'm glad to say the company will continue to evolve rather than become rote. Yeah, right. uh, oh, definitely. Like being a sale would be the, that would be death for all of us. And it could never happen because we are all, like you said, makers first. And that is, that means we are naturally driven to be creative. We cannot stop with the ideas. I, mean, I think that is one of our- Too much. Yeah. Too much. Too much. Is Crystal watching right now? Maybe. Because I shout out to Crystal on our team for, for helping us, yeah. us calm down with <laughs> the ideas. Yeah, it is. It is nonstop ideas, and it's uh, we have to. We kind of talk about everything, and then we we're getting better. We are getting better. <laughs> it's a discipline <laughs> it for, a dis for yeah. creative people yeah. to rather than produce the ideas, execute on the ideas. But like you said, we've said this a lot in our lives. There are times where someone will say, "Oh, I really want like this color Odyssey," but we're you know we're streamlined. But yeah. Sometimes it takes two, upwards of two years yep. to really get what we want. I saw a comment. I can't wait for the Gemini hook. I see two comments. Right. Okay, yes. Same kind Absolutely, of thing. Gemini hook. Also, the Vita and Jelana Crystal is amazing. Um, Big shout amazing. out to Crystal. Jelana's amazing. So Jelana's amazing. amazing. So is Jelana. Jelana. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. so Crystal is the Pamela Rain Wrangler. Yes. <laughs> okay, yes. we need to get her a badge or something. Yeah. Andy, how did you know that? We saw some of one of the little shop, you know, the office lines people put on yep. the desk, mm -hmm. and there was some really great ones. We picked out for one each, for everybody, one for everybody on the team. Yeah. It was really funny. We have Quality, to... not quantity. Mm, tangles tails. I love my furls, but I have one small complaint. Sometimes the hook size is hard to see on my Odyssey hooks. It's like the gold is too light. Mm -hmm. We're fixing that. Mm -hmm. I can't really announce everything, but we are fixing that. Again, we have heard. The complaints and again yeah. it takes a long time to to create something because we don't want to rush into it we do want it to be perfect but um, i just bought more <laughs> <laughs> so um we are anytime we hear from one of our customers about something that they feel maybe just better. isn't just right for you know we take all of that very we listen. seriously we listen. and we are constantly Crystal, I'm getting tactical. What's going on? Crystal. <laughs> Look who it is. Don't forget Fuchsia Odyssey. Yes, yeah, so that is who is that? Francis. Yeah, oh, it's, it's on the list. Mm -hmm. it's coming, That's not a conversation, but. So I, we were talking about this um, an hour or two ago. What does furls really mean? And um, to me, the guy that started furls, um, furls is beauty and comfort and uh, performance even stitches, better crocheting, for sure. We know that. I think furls really is about being um, the best. I, that's kind of a, yeah, the, the ethos of furls is about being different and about being the best. Mm -hmm. And that's- Striving for the best. Striving for the best. That's difficult to do. Mm -hmm. That's the reality. It's really hard. It's really, really hard. But the commitment to that, and that's something I'm very uh, grateful and proud of Lorena Penn. I think that is what to. sets us apart from yeah, the company. It's sure. not that we are the best, but we are We're what trying. we are. <laughs> well, we, in, in certain ways we are, right? Yeah, yeah. But we are never going to stop trying to get better and better and better. For sure. Mm -hmm. We're For never sure. going to be satisfied. So a lot of you are asking questions in the comments right now about things that could be better about Odyssey Streamline, all the hook lines. It's coming. Bear with it's us. So hard for us. I know. We're so like, bite, mm, bite our tongues on this. Well, I see comments for like, why is Pam, why is Pam not saying anything about what's happening? Because they know if I you open know. my mouth, I will say something. Yeah. Don't ask Pam. Lorene, <laughs> Don't ask Pam. Lorene, you and I, I think it was just a week or two ago when we were still in our homes. Um, we were truly saying, what is the one thing that we don't yet have or don't yet do that people are asking for and let's make that happen yeah that's just our, that's our top priority yeah. um <laughs> Pam is a bean spiller that's yeah, i know i have a reputation that's funny um, well, okay. and it's funny because i'm like i give stuff away too but i am really i have been left um to your own device and supervised for a very long time mm. a <laughs> mistake we won't make again <laughs> that's again because the Harrison 
knows that I have Pearls' best intentions and our customers' best intentions. And Harris and I both know that you also have the company and the customer and the maker's best intent, like you have the best intentions towards, we never have to worry that you're, any of us are going to make a decision that's not going to be good because we really For sure. care. A lot of companies say, we care. We care. And we can't do this without yeah. you guys. And that's lip service. We are really on that. Like Pam and Lorraine said earlier, they use products. We did before we worked here. Every single day. Mm -hmm. Could could not do what we did, um, you know, with chronic pain issues or things like that, and crocheting a lot. Couldn't do it without this company. And Francis, I love you, Pam. You're a cute bean spiller. Cute, but most of But I, we, that's what we connected over, right? We connected over. Yeah our love for the craft, our love for the industry, our love for this product and wanting to make it as good as it can be. And as you, know as it can be. you know what's really great though? Like reading the comments as they're coming in, oh, I would love this, oh, I would love, so far everything that has been commented is in the works. Is in the, in the works. works. Different different stages. So not everything's gonna come out like in the next three months or anything like that. Or even the next um, year. I mean, there's some However, there, a lot of them will be. It is so funny that Pam and I will like have conversations or, you know, we'll talk to Harrison and we'll be like, we think this, and then we have a live and it's like, it's good that you validate that for us, but that means that we're on the right track and yeah. we learn to really trust our, our gut and our intuition and then back it up with fact. But I don't think, I don't think there's anything anyone's ever asked for that we have not either no. have in progress yeah. or is on the, yeah. the list for, for being sure. in progress. For sure. I want to make a couple shout outs um, for some of these comments that I'm seeing. Jelana, you've gotten two shout outs in um, our Jelana. comments. Jelana, you rock. Jelana is our um, customer service, I say agent. Um, we had a little discussion about what Jelana should be Can called. We a little party at the warehouse the other night. On and Friday. Yeah, yeah. team dinner, um, barbecue, some, some awesome barbecue. Jelana, makes a difference i want to give her a special shout out right now she has the best freaking attitude um i love coming into the office and she's got a big smile on her face uh and she's almost always on the phone with one of you guys um taking real good time and care and attention of you i saw another uh jelana comment i don't know if i'm gonna really find it but definitely big yeah, shout out coming in pretty fast. for um yeah. jelana one of Pam's core philosophies as our uh, chief marketing officer is that customer service is a part of marketing. And we're seeing that in the comments right here. It's totally true. And um, Jelana is the point of our spear on that right now. So thank you, Jelana. Um, your efforts mean a lot to us. We love that. We never have to worry that our customers are being taken care of. Pam is, um, it focuses very much on customer experience. Alfie Judo, Jelana is the customer service angel. Oh, there's her that's, that's, what that's, that's her title, our customer service. <laughs> um, Jelan is amazing. She helped me a lot. Very, 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 very personal. Mm -hmm. Everybody on our team, though. Like, so um, Megan, who is um, the head of customer service, you doesn't speak as much with the customers individually as Jelana does just because of uh, position and what she is also doing. But there is not one single person on our, our, we call them our warehouse warriors. They are, they really, they kick ass. I said a bad word, they kick ass. Um, they take names, but they just do it. And how many times do we have to be like, can you go hold this order? Because yeah. customer A decided that she wants to add to it, or she decided she wants this color. She instead, size. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, it's all day long. We are going back and forth. And then Victoria, who's in the UK, and she's able to get people at different, times than we can it's yeah. just we're very we're very blessed we're very lucky to have we found each are. other okay so i know we're, we're coming back to that yeah. for sure <laughs> okay so i want to give a special shout out to kelsey uh sarah yes. and Paige and matt, matt in the warehouse those are our warehouse warriors super they are the reason you guys get your packages in good time and in good shape yeah. so we could not do what we do without them Love those guys. Great attitudes. Great to work with. Actually, um, we will be meeting them, or you will be meeting them Tuesday. on Tuesday live. I'm going live with Devita from the well. Devita's not from the warehouse. Devita's in New York. Um, I'll be in the warehouse, and we will be chatting, and you will be able to meet the team there, and you'll see just how incredible they are and how hard they work. Really great people. And I think they're going to teach me how to pack an order. 
Yeah. Sweet. So that's going to be fun. Sweet. Okay. There was a comment, a few comments ago that we got to bring up. What will you be leaving home with from the warehouse, Pamela Lee? Um, well, I, have a I actually need a list of that so that I can reconcile the inventory and make so sure. So I need a list of that. You're, you're retired. <laughs> I have um, a bucket started. Um, full of hooks. But it is an actual bucket. It is a bucket. It is a. How many hooks are in there right now? 20? Oh, oh probably no, 50. <laughs> so there are such variations because our products are handmade. So the woods have different natural variants. Our resins have different cord variances. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the website doesn't adequately show like the for different sure. variants. Well, for most of the listings, yes, you get one photo that kind of shows you what the hook looks but like. But you can see an How ebony ever. hook that is stunning in in its sapwood and then yeah. stunning in black. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's my goal over the next quarter to um, get more photos on our site, showing you, ex you know, to give you a better idea of what you can expect when you open your package at home. Uh, that's why so there's one, yeah. What of these kind of variants are you, yeah. Are you getting? Um, that's that's why there's so far 70. Uh, they're not for my personal use. They're, they're for work, but yeah. You're not fooling anyone. No, no. Um, but I think the ones that I was most shocked about were the ebony and the teeth. They are gorgeous. so beautiful. I remember so someone said, "Oh, I think you missed the spot in staining." I'm like, "Well, we don't stain them. That's the wood." But mm -hmm. different, like you said, the sapwood or the heartwood. I'm just different. The same twig, you know, the same branch. <laughs> Did you see this? What? It's like I Love Lucy, where there's the chocolate coming down, shoving it in her mouth. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. That is what I did. The first time I was here, we were releasing solar flare. Yeah. And I was literally oh, yeah. way through yeah. the solar flare. And one for me, one two for you. But um, I don't have room to um, bring any much of anything home. So. Oh, no, it's being shipped from here. <laughs> we're packing it in a, in a box. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you guys know we did a second sale mm -hmm. um, because our theory was everything's handmade. It's not going to be perfect. We don't want to put it in landfills. We don't want to, to waste it. We know there's some people who really want to try our hooks, but they are an investment, right? I mean, they are an investment in, in your craft. So maybe you have one that's perfectly imperfect. And that's one of the things Pam and I have really, but there's, we're going to have some more second sales oh, yeah. of things we haven't done a second sale. More than just rats and hooks. And it is very sustainability is very important to us. We know we're for sure. Ecom, we're changing our packaging to, to be yeah. more sustainable and just generally more sustainable. And Nicole Riley's here too. It's Hi, Nicole. Uh, uh, any more of the mango streamlined hook? Well, we haven't. No, but they're on they're, the buttons on the site. That's why. So, um, oh, yeah. So the button is on the site because, okay. Okay. So, you want some beans? Here's yeah. some beans. We're going <laughs> to give you some beans. Um, so we currently have three streamlined woods that you can choose from. We have ebony, teak, and camwood. Um, but we thought, well, why would we stop just there? Why? That doesn't make sense. Why would we stop there? Um, so you can expect mango to come out sometime this year. Um, and then we were thinking, and we were like, mango's not enough. No. So there's going to be some beautiful woods, very beautiful woods coming yeah. your way in streamlined woods that will be part of our regular lineup. Um, one of the secret I was going to share, though, that is sometimes when we place orders, mm -hmm. we have to put the products in, in our store before we can place a PO for it. Yeah. Um, some of them, the way our site is set up, you won't see. But some of them, in order to do it, you'll see the little, sometimes like it's a new page and you have to go searching. But on the Streamline page, it says Mango because yeah. Mango's coming. Now, it actually turns out that Mango's may not be the first one to come. Mm -hmm. to or it might not be the only one to come. That releases that. That much means that we've got something in, in the works. Yeah. Usually, I mean, I think to wrap all of what we've been saying up, because we're coming up forty minutes now. You guys can chat as long as we we can all chat as long as you want. But the the vibe to use the twenty twenty two word mm -hmm. that um furls is on right now is everything we've done over the past ten years. Everything that we've heard from you guys over the past 10 years, we are right on the edge of Furls 2.0. Yeah. The first 10 years of Furls, about to be done, wrapped our birthdays on June 22nd. That's coming up. 10th anniversary. Got some really fun things for you. We got some very special stuff then. On the next 10 years of Furls, 
they're going to be different. We've we've taken in the feedback. We've got very big plans. And it's not just about what's new. It's about taking what we've done and taking it to the next level. So you're about to see existing products, mm-hmm. get big makeovers, get better. Um, maybe you didn't think people could even make a crochet hook that good. We're about to take it there. Yeah. We are going to do our damnedest to continue to learn and innovate and bring you beautiful things. So thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Thanks for inviting us to your place. I thought we'd never get to see it. Yeah. I really, yeah, it was so much more fun. Lots of art. It is lots of art. Beautiful. Yeah. I was um, mentioning earlier, it's kind of the read. I am a Libra man. And that means that I am particular. well, I don't know if it's that or just who I am. I'm particularly um, in tune and fond and chasing beauty. What is um, aesthetically pleasing? What is uh, kinesthetically and tactically pleasing? I want a beautiful experience. I want to create that for other people. And that's kind of where Furls came out of. How do I make a the most beautiful hook on earth? Because life is too short for ugly tools. And that's our commitment. And we're, we're staying on that. And my apartment's full of um, weird, beautiful things. Inspiration. Yeah. Inspiration. Yeah. You're going to keep your inspiration going. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. We will see you Tuesday at 10 a.m. Central. Where, pardon me. I will be live with Debeater. I'll be in the warehouse introducing you, showing you around, giving you a little tour. Um, and then I think there's another live on Thursday with Crystal. However, Lorraine and I will be up in the air. We will time. be going home. Yeah. Yeah. But, so, uh, and thank you, Harrison, for joining me. Of course. You know, everybody loved that. Of course. Yeah, great to be here. All right. Okay. See you see later. Ya. Bye. Bye.